Hello everyone, today I am going to be filming the final advent calendar video for 2022 and I'm going to be ending with the same one that I ended with last year because I think a lot of people enjoyed this one last year and I really enjoyed filming it. Basically, I've bought a bunch of advent calendars from Etsy. So these are like homemade, handmade advent calendars that Etsy sellers are selling on their Etsy stores, obviously. Um, and last year it was interesting there was i think there was a good one but the others were questionable so i'm excited to see what we got this year i've gone for like a selection of all sorts again in fact let me see what did i actually get i ordered these ages ago okay so one of them is a stationary advent calendar one of them is just like a beauty products one and then the other one is just like a random items advent calendar i thought that'd be interesting because i have no idea what i'm gonna get in there so yeah we have a selection of all sorts i'm just gonna get on with it i hope you guys enjoy the video let's start with advent calendar number one i don't know which one i'm gonna go for <laughs> okay so i'm gonna start off with this one this is like the beauty products advent calendar i don't know if it's makeup or skincare or like body bath stuff or maybe like a mixture of everything i, I honestly can't remember um but this one cost me 70 pounds so it was it was quite an expensive one um and this is what arrived so it arrived in a cardboard box and then inside i've got a bunch of presents and they're obviously all numbered although with this one i feel like the numbers are really hard to see like you probably can't even see from there but they're just drawn on with a bit of pen it is quite hard to read the numbers okay day number one is this little thin one okay so we're starting off with a face mask this is by the body shop and it's their aloe calm sheet mask i'm literally gonna have to get everything out to find each item i can't even find number two wow ah. i swear if she's put number two right at the back i want a refund <laughs> is that two see it's so hard to read i think this is number two so we've got this round one there's quite a few of these they're just like balls i bet it's a bath bomb it is a bath bomb <laughs> There we go. I, I have nothing to say about it. There's no info on it. I can sort of smell it. Kind of smells lemony. Okay, day number three is like a tin of something. Okay, so we've got... Uh, oh, this is a body butter. I have no idea what the brand is. Like, I can't see a brand anywhere. It just says lemon and clary sage. What the fuck's a clary sage? I have no idea. So I'm guessing that's the scent. Oh, lemon to match my lemon bath bomb. <laughs> day number four is quite a heavy box is this okay this is by the brand l'oreal and it's their smooth sugars scrub oh so it's like a face scrub kind of thing it looks weird it's like green with like bits in it day number five is like a squeezy tube of something I have never heard of this brand. I think the brand is Beauties. It says Beauties Skincare. And this is their Beeswax Antibacterial Hand Cream. Oh, Beeswax Hand Cream? Are you for real? Okay, I think this is day number six. This feels weird. Like, whatever it is, it is squishy and kind of weird. <laughs> Okay, again, I've never heard of this brand before. I think it's just mud. Like the brand is M-U-D-D. -D, and this is their peel off mask. Um, oh my goodness, I haven't had a peel off mask since I was very young. They're really fun actually. You like, obviously you peel them off. Day number seven is this long box. So this is by the brand Beauty Formulas and it's their clarifying facial scrub. And this one's with black current oh so we've got another face scrub i mean we have already had one but oh my goodness it's huge that would last me for the rest of my life i will scrub forever with this like this is giant day number eight is like a little pot of something i see bananas i i love a banana <laughs> but again i have no idea what this brand is this is by the brand xbc who are you? Um, and this is their natural rich banana body yogurt. Yeah, it's like the body shop body yogurts. But does it smell as good? It does smell very good. But it looks like it's, I don't know. Looks like it's been around for a while. <laughs> okay, so this is number nine. It's really squishy. I think it's another sheet mask, but this one's rolled up in a little oh there's a dude on it <laughs> is this a sheet mask yeah this is by the brand skin treats and this is their printed face mask and it's a reindeer one so i mean very festive for for an advent calendar we've got a literal reindeer face mask day number 10 is probably the biggest one of all of them um but it's very light it's like a big light box that's kind of cool so we've got again by the brand beauties skincare i think we had something else from them um we've got a pack of reusable makeup removal cloths so these are those cloths where you literally just add water and then it takes your makeup off i do already have a fair few of these but i think they're a cool idea like i think they're good and 
yeah, that's quite a nice product to put in there. Day number 11, we have another ball. I'm gonna guess it's gonna be a bath bomb again. Is it another lemon one? <laughs> it's not. Well, it might be, but it's, it's pink, so I doubt it. This straw, ra mm. <laughs> it's a toss up between strawberry and raspberry. I can't really tell. Okay, this is day number 12. <gasps> Ma'am, I am making a formal complaint. You put a spider in there with it. It wasn't even on the outside. I just opened it and a spider just crawled out. How have you, how have you survived? I've had this for a while. I can see it scurrying away. It's not a big one. It's not a big one. If it was a big one, I would have had more of a reaction, but to be fair, I did kind of overreact. <laughs> it was only tiny, but still an actual spider just came out of it. I'm so confused how it survived. Like it's quite tightly packed. Surely it would have suffocated. I have some questions for you, sir, later. How, how did you do that? Well, that was unexpected. Anyway, okay, so day number 12, we've got a spider <laughs> and some soap. Um, This is by The Body Shop and this is their strawberry soap. It's just like a hard, solid kind of hand soap thing. Day number 13 is this one. It feels like a, a kind of like shower gel tube or something like that. It's gingerbread. Oh, it's by Avon. They're bad, aren't they? <laughs> um, yeah, it's by Avon and it is their gingerbread shower cream. Let me give it a sniff. Okay. It definitely smells like gingerbread. Like that is a very gingerbready smell. It smells very nice. Day number 14, we have... I think it's another bath bomb, yeah. This is a gingerbread man fizzer. He's very cute though. He's just a golden gingerbread man bath bomb. Another one. I've got so many bath bombs now and I don't even bath. I shower, but I don't ever take baths. <laughs> Day number 15, we've got, again, I think like a little tub of something, a little pot of something. It's by the brand Umberto Gianni. Giannini? Giannini? I think I have heard of it. This is their Urgent Repair Deep Conditioning Treatment. Oh, it's for hair. So this is like a hair conditioner treatment kind of thing. Day number 16 is this little bottle of something. This is by the brand Candy Cane Lane, I think. And this is their Candy Sugar Drops Scented Body Lotion. So again, very nice and festive. It's very on theme for Christmas. Day number 17, we have another pot of something. Okay, we've got some more body shop products. Uh, this is their British Rose Exfoliating Gel Body Scrub. Another scrub, but this one is a body one. Day number 18, we've got another ball. I'm gonna guess it's a bath bomb. <laughs> it is another bath bomb. This one's like a pale blue. So I don't know what scent that would be. In fact, it smells like nothing. Day number 19 is a little tube of something. Another product by The Body Shop. A lot of this is The Body Shop, which is quite nice because they are, you know, a decent brand. Um, this is another hand cream. So we've got two hand creams though. Um, this is their coconut hand cream. It's just a little, a little mini one. Day number 20 is a big tube. Okay, another brand that I have never heard of. This is by the brand Blush Florals, I think that's the brand. And this is their Wild Vanilla Orchid Cleansing Body Wash. So we've got a body wash, shower gel kind of product. The packaging's kind of cute. It's very pink and cute. Day 21, my lucky number. We've got another little pot of something. I think I've said that about a million times now. We have many pots. Oh, it's another one of these. It's another mystery body butter because I have no idea what the brand is. Um, but this one's in the scent Orange and neroli. I have no idea what a neroli smells like, but I'm guessing it's like an orangey scent. Day 22, it's another ball. So I'm guessing it's my final bath bomb to my collection. So we've got a pink one, a blue one, a yellow one. I feel like it's gonna be purple. It is purple. So this one's gonna probably smell like lavender or something. No, it does not. <laughs> I have no idea what that smells like. Like genuinely, the purple and blue smell like nothing. I'm confused, but there we go. The final bath bomb to my collection. I have many balls. Yay. Okay, day 23, we've got another kind of box of something. What is this? This is a full on something. <laughs> um, this is by the brand Eternity, Eternite. Uh, I've never heard of them. This is their face massager and serum. So we've got like a full on face tool thing that you rub on your face and it massages and rubs in your skincare stuff. And then we've got like a serum to go with it as well. That's quite cool. Okay, day 24 is this one. It's definitely the heaviest and kind of one of the biggest as well. I have no idea what this could be. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh, 
Uh, this is by the brand Sea and Spa, and these are their Epsom bath salts in a tea tree scent, I think. This is quite a product. It's in like a full-on bottle. <laughs> Why do I say that? A full-on bottle. A full-on bottle. Um, it's got like a cork bit in the top, and you've got all of the salty things in there. So these are the kind of things that you put in your bath, aren't they? Like you sprinkle them in, it's meant to make it smell nice. Again, I probably won't use it because like I said, I don't have baths, but I don't know, it's, it's a nice item to have in there. It's very big as well, like it's giant. And finally, day 20, is this a plushy? This is so squishy, oh my goodness. Day 25, the final item, it's Christmas day. Um, What are we getting? It feels really squishy. I think it might be some socks. <laughs> a plushie oh, they've got stars on them okay so in day 25 we've got some kind of cozy socks to be fair i could do with some of these my feet are cold like right now i'm not gonna get my feet out not for free my feet are cold i have no socks on so i could do with these and that is that that is the advent calendar all unboxed i feel like it was all right like it wasn't a bad advent calendar there were you know a mixture of different things in there uh there were there were there was a spider i mean come on you can't even put a price on that. I got a free spider. I'm just thinking 70 pounds. Like, was it worth 70 pounds? I'm not sure. I feel like maybe that was a little bit much, but then you've also got to think it takes a lot of time for them to wrap everything up and do all the stuff with it. So you do have to think about that as well with these like handmade advent calendars, but I still think 70 pound might be a bit much for what I got. Yeah, maybe a little bit much, but I think overall um, it was a decent beauty advent calendar. I think, I think they did all right. I think. <laughs> okay, moving on to advent calendar number two. This is the stationary one, which I'm really interested about because I've never done like a stationary advent calendar before. I mean, I'm guessing it's going to have stationary in it, so it's not like a big surprise, but I'm still intrigued to see what they've put in there. This one cost me £60, so a little bit cheaper than the one before, but it's still, you know, it's still quite a lot. Anyway, this one just arrived in this little white box, and then I've got a bunch of like little bags inside. So let's get on with it. Day number one. Okay, day number one. Oh my goodness. <gasps> I've just remembered. It was labeled as like a really cute kind of, what's the word? I never know if I'm saying it right. Like kawaii, you know, that kind of style. I've just remembered and oh my goodness, this is already adorable. I have no idea what it is, but it is cute as hell. Oh, I think it's like one of those Tipex things where it like goes across like that and it will Tipex out your mistakes, I think. Okay, day number two. I'm sorry if this is really loud. It's so cute. <laughs> it's a little, is it like a pencil? Oh, it's a pen. It's a pen. It's a little clicky pen, but it's got strawberries on it. And then it's got like a little girl's head with a strawberry hat. Okay, this is day number three. It feels like there's nothing in there, but I'm, I'm sure we got something. <laughs> I think they're little stickers. Um, there's all sorts on there. There's like little cute things and cute things and quotes and things. What does it say? Can't sleep, yeah, Re relatable. <laughs> okay, this is day number four. Okay, I think these are like little mini sticky notes. I think so, um, but they're so cute. You've got a little rocking horse, um, a little chick and a little bunny. This is just this is so adorable. They're so tiny though. I've never seen sticky notes so tiny, but I love them. <laughs> I'm having the time of my life. <laughs> okay, this is day number five. It's a little bit chunkier than the others. What is this? <laughs> I think it's like a little pack of washi tape. Like, you know what I mean, like washi tape, but it's in this really cute little box, um, which just makes it very adorable and cute. I think the washi tape is Christmas related. Okay, this is day number six. It's a pencil and it has things on it. It has cats on it. Okay, this is day number seven. We've got another like super thin one. What are these? I have no idea. What is this? Oh, they are stickers. I think that it is more stickers. Um, but this time we've got like little cute animals and cute things and things. Okay, this is day number eight. I think we have more washi tape. Again, there's cute things all over it. I think you get the gist already. It's just, there's just cute stuff on everything. Okay, day number nine literally feels like nothing. It's a pair of scissors for a very small person. <laughs> like I'm a small person, but damn, they are some tiny scissors. Like what? what is the use for these? Okay, this is day number 10. Okay, we've got some more sticky notes. These have a cute little woman on them who's eating a cupcake with a chick 
Why is there a chick there? I don't know. <laughs> Day number 11 is this one. What is this? It's a little box of something. It says life log sticker. So we have like a box of just an absolute ton of stickers of all sorts of random things. We've got some popcorn. We've got some noodles. Why would I want stickers with noodles on them? Why would I not want that? <laughs> There's so many stickers here of just really random things. A lot of it seems to be food. Day number 12 is this one. Um, This is like, it's just a notebook, isn't it? Yeah, it's just a little notebook. You've got a load of lined pages in there, but it's in the shape of like a dog. I think it's supposed to be a dog. Okay, this is day number 13. It's in a little Christmas tree box, which is very cute in itself. So let me have a look what's inside. Oh my goodness, it's in like a little sort of milk carton. It's so cute, it's a little cat holding a ball. That is so adorable, that is the cutest little rubber I've ever seen. This is day number 14. It's another little lined notebook. Um, Again, it's in the shape of a little dog, but this one's holding a present. Okay, day number 15 is another one that feels like, nope, I lied, I can feel it. There is something in there. It's a ruler of a very long cat. Probably the best ruler I've ever seen in my life because it's a cat. Day number 16 is a little bit different. We've got a little box of something. Is this more washi tape? Oh my goodness, I think we've got more. Yeah, we've got a box of washi tape. These are really skinny ones though. They're like really thin. There's a lot of washi tape going on here. What am I gonna do with it all? Okay, day number 17 is this one. Okay, so we've got another little pack of sticky notes. Again, a bit like the other one. It's just a little square. And this one has uh, little teddies on it. Yeah, teddies sitting on top of an aeroplane with the Eiffel Tower in the background. Day number 18 is another one like this. So I feel like it's gonna be more stickers maybe. Yep, we've got more stickers. Um, again, just with a load of little cute animals on them. I feel like everything's quite similar, isn't it? But I guess it is, it's stationary. <laughs> Day number 19 is this little square. Okay, so we've got another little box of something uh, Oh, stickers. I feel like really this is just a sticker calendar at this point. We've got donuts, we've got sweets. Oh, okay, the other one was like the savory food. This is like the sweet food. I see what they've done here. Oh my God, cats on croissants. Okay, this is day number 20. More sticky notes. <laughs> um, yeah, these ones are like little strips though. So they are a little bit different. Um, and these ones say lemon on them. I love lemon, I like lemon. Make your mind up, do you love it or like it? <laughs> Day 21, my lucky number made it into one of the cute little Christmas tree boxes. It's a pencil sharpener but it's an owl. Wait, where do you stick your, oh, you stick your pencil in the bottom. <laughs> okay, this is day 22. It feels different to all the others. It's kind of like soft, but kind of big. It's a little pencil case kind of thing. It's in these like pastel colors. Um, you've got a little zip. That's kind of cute and it's furry. Why have I not even mentioned the fact that it's actually furry? Like it's soft and fluffy. Okay, this is day 23. So we've got another little pen, another just clicky pen, um, but this one has little bears on it again. Very cute. And then finally, this is day 24. So this is just a 24 day calendar. We don't have a Christmas day. And also day 24 is tiny. Like this is a very small thing to end on. But as always, small things can sometimes be the best. What is this? <gasps> it's a cat. And this is like a little kind of paper clip. I mean, sure. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Like what do I do with a paper clip with a cat with a thing on its head? What do I do with you? And there we go. That is the advent calendar all unboxed. I feel like that one was all right. It was very cute. If you like cute stationery, you're gonna really enjoy that one. Um, but I feel like there was a lot of the same stuff. Like, like I was saying, there were so many stickers and sticky notes and st just sticky things. Um, and again, for 60 quid, I don't know. Stationery is expensive, but a lot of these things were very like small, like very tiny little things. So I don't know. I think yet again, 60 pounds might be a little bit much, but overall, I think it was decent. It was very cute. I had fun opening it. Okay, I'm filming this last one on a different day. So if I look different at all, that is why. I've put the same outfit on, but I, I think I didn't put eyeliner on this time, did I? But I did yesterday. 
Anyway, it's a different day. I'm finally gonna unbox the last advent calendar. This is like the random one. I don't think it had a theme. I think it was literally just called a mystery, yeah, mystery Christmas advent calendar. And I think the only thing you could pick was whether you wanted a child's one, a teenager's one, or an adult's one. I picked an adult one because believe it or not, I, I am an adult. <laughs> this one cost me 80 pounds. So it was the most expensive of all of them. But oh my goodness, I was not expecting a giant box like this to arrive. Like, like, this is what I got, a giant box and inside I've got a bunch of presents, they all look quite big and they're all wrapped so nicely, like I feel like this one is presented the best out of all of them, like by far. I have no idea what to expect in this one but I'm very excited. Day number one. Okay, <laughs> so this is day number one. I've got a ball ball attached to it. It's very big, we've got this long big box. What is this? What is a giant candy cag book? Oh, cables. <laughs> oh, I think it's those sweets. I've got a load of these giant sweets. These are like the things you get in pick a mix. I haven't had one of these in years, but oh my goodness, they are absolutely massive. Okay, this is day number two. This one's also got like a decoration on it and a load of feathers and stuff like that. Okay, so we've got some socks. <laughs> um, yeah, I've got a pair of like cozy slipper sock things, but these are kind of Christmassy. Like they've got Christmassy colors. Very cute. Okay, day number three is a kind of floppy one. So I've got a bag of red nose mallows. So they're basically like giant marshmallows, but they're the kind of like the ones that are like this. I don't know how to describe it. It's not a normal marshmallow. Okay, day number four. This one's got a red ribbon around it. Very fancy. What is this? I mean, it's more food. Um, I've never heard of this before. It says Bake Hill. Bake, oh, Bake Hill. <laughs> bake Hill, not Kill. Round of applause, milk chocolate sandwich biscuits. We got some biscuits. <laughs> okay, day number five is this little box. It's more food. <laughs> I think this is just like a food advent calendar. I've got, uh, oh, is this a Terry's chocolate orange? So this is a chocolate orange obviously <laughs> day number six is fancy we've got this like weird stuff wrapped around it we've got some foliage wait is this mistletoe the thing you kiss under <laughs> i'll keep that that's cute more chocolate more food this was 80 pounds that's all i'm thinking so far this was 80 pounds for some chocolate? I mean, th this is kind of cool though. You've got like one of those variety boxes where you've got a mixture of all sorts. Okay, day number seven. I don't think this is gonna be edible. I think this is something else because it feels very squishy. It's a Santa's hat. <laughs> I mean, sure, it's Christmassy. I think that's all I've got to say on that one. <laughs> okay, this is day number eight. Oh my. I mean, that's a little bit cute, in it? That's a little bit cute. So we've got a like hand soap, pump soap thingy, but it's in the shape of a snowman. Day number nine. I think it's a bar of chocolate. We got a bar of chocolate. This is an Aero creamy white. Day number 10, we've got some more foliage. This one's cute. It's got like little wooden blocks stuck on it and it spells out the word joy. So I'm hoping inside this one there is an item that will bring me lots of joy. Ah, it's a notebook. <laughs> this is a like, oh it's like a planner book. It says A5 project book um, and then on the front it says forever busy. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think this belongs to me. Day number 11 is this little squishy one. No, <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's one of those um, things that you used to wash yourself with, but it's got a Santa on it. Again, it's cute, it's Christmassy, it's cute, it's Christmassy. Day number 12, <gasps> this one's got jingly bells on it, so I'm expecting good things in this one. <laughs> More food, more chocolate stuff. This is, oh, this is cute though. It's the snowman and the snow dog, which is that little like film thing, isn't it? But these are marshmallows. Day number 13 is this one. Is this a packet of crisps? Because honestly, <laughs> I, I draw the line somewhere. <laughs> okay, 
I actually thought it was for a minute, but it's not. We've got a packet of popcorn. This looks like fancy popcorn. Um, it says toasted marshmallow flavor, toffee coated popcorn. Oh my goodness. Okay, day number 14 is very cute. It looks like a little cracker with tinselly bits on it. It's an umbrella. <laughs> Why? It's an umbrella because it snows and rains more in the winter so this makes sense i don't leave the house i don't need this <laughs> day number 15 has a little dude on it with some ribbon jingly bells <laughs> they're literally called jingly bells oh my goodness we got some more chocolate these are some dairy milk jingly bells hazelnut cream oh no i probably wouldn't like this but there we go, jingly bells. My favorite kind of bells. This is day number 16. It's like a weird shape. I have no idea what this could be. Gordon the gonk. <laughs> sure, um, okay, so these are some bath bombs or some bath fizzers as they call them. Oh, they're peppermint scented. I do love a minty scent, hang on. That doesn't smell like peppermint. Day number, am I okay? Day number 17 is this little one. Hmm, I thought so. I was like, that feels a lot like a bar of something. So I think we've got some more chocolate. So these are some Reese's peanut butter trees. Oh, okay. It's Christmassy. I won't like this either. I don't like nutty things. <laughs> Day number 18 is this one. It's going to be like a box of chocolates of some kind, isn't it? I just feel like it will be. I mean, not quite. It's not a box of chocolates. It's a box of sweets. <laughs> More edible things. Um, these are the Barrett Retros. Oh, okay, so we've got fruit salad, wham, and a blackjack. This is day number 19. It's just like a really little thin one. Okay, so we've got a sheet mask. I probably should have guessed that from the packet, but this is by the brand Derma V10 or Dermav 10. I have no idea. Um, and this is their coconut printed sheet mask. It's got a load of little like Santa dudes printed all over it. So it's Christmassy. Day number 20. <sighs> a bag of peanuts i mean some people love nuts so some people would be so happy to get the big d salted peanuts bag they knew what they were doing there <laughs> i will not be enjoying my big d salted peanuts because i don't like nuts but there we go <laughs> okay day 21 it is lucky number day that is the last time i'm gonna say that for this year, how very sad. <laughs> Day 21 is just like a little... Okay, I don't even know, that feels weird. Oh, we got some bangles, some like gold bangle bracelet kind of things. I would not wear these, but someone out there definitely would. But that is not all, no, no, we don't just have that. We have something else and we have foot soak crystals what's that it's by the brand beauty collagy and these are their cashmere and strawberry foot so foot soak crystals so i think they're like crystals that you put in water and soak your feet in them i've never personally done that before but i guess i will be now <laughs> this is day 22 we've got a little merry christmas sign on it i have never seen anything like this more food um these are some oreo wafer rolls wait they actually sound really nice they look weird as hell but they sound really good <laughs> okay day 23 we've got some more cute little decoration bits and um, this one's like a big long sort of tube i've got a cracker of is it hot chocolate yeah i got a cracker of hot chocolate that's kind of cute um so you've got uh three packets of hot chocolate and some marshmallows in there that, that's quite a nice thing it's still more edible stuff but it is a little bit different you can drink this instead of eat it and finally we've got day 24 so this is another 24 day advent calendar they don't have a christmas day we're ending on christmas eve um and this is the final item i don't really know what to expect i'm hoping something pretty epic because most of it so far has just been food it's another one <laughs> it's another one of these that we'd already had earlier so not only is it just more chocolate but we've already had one of these and that was the final day in my advent calendar 
80 pounds. There we go, that's, that is that one all done. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this one was definitely the most like nicely presented. Everything was wrapped up pretty nicely and it was decorated nicely. So 10 out of 10 for that, like they did an amazing job on that. But I feel like the stuff inside was just a little bit like, mm. like obviously, as I said, most of it was food and there weren't really many other things. Like 90% of it was just like chocolate and food and stuff. So I feel like there wasn't much variety. And I just think for 80 pounds, surely not. I feel like you could have bought all of that for like 20 quid but then i guess you're paying for the fact that they've wrapped it all nicely and they've made it look cute so i, I do understand that but i think 80 pound is way too much for this one uh, like am i right am i wrong let me know what you guys think but did i get scammed did does that count enough as a scam that i can put scam in the title that's what i need to work out <laughs> so there we go that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed this year's version of it um give it a thumbs up if you did and i will bring it back next year again um yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you very soon i can't reach goodbye